Evening gents, thanks for tuning in, welcome back to my channel. Okay, today's topic is homemade pulse sensor. So, we're going to do a comparison here between the homemade pulse sensor and the first look sensor. You can see also I've got the first look sensor here, homemade here. Uh, I've got a pipe where I'm going to kind of suck and blow uh, into. It comes up and joins this T-piece here. So the pressure that I put into this pipe will be distributed left and right. Obviously, first look sensor and homemade. I've got the Pico running, so we'll get a comparison between the two. They should mirror each other if, if they work well. They do work well, so I'll just tell you that just now, but you can see for yourself when I've got it running. So what I'll do is I'll just set the screen recorder. Okay, that's it, recording. That, I'll just play it. Okay, I'll grab my hose. Okay, <coughs> I think that's plenty. So I'll just press spacebar, pause that. Well, it didn't pause. Surprise, surprise. Okay, stop that. Back to page one. Okay, you can see it's, it looks pretty nice, and you can't really see any differences just now. Uh, I'll zoom in and we'll look at it clearer. So I'll just zoom in this section here. And we can already see. That's that's pretty identical, you know, there's, there's not much difference at all. So, I'll move them up, I'll see how they sit over the top of each other. The amplitude might be a wee different at times, but, you know, it's a well usable waveform. There's virtually no difference there, and that's, that's pretty good. So, I just wanted to share that with you. There's a... <clears throat> I'll maybe do a teardown so you can just see a wee bit, but it is kind of delicate at the wiring side, so I was kind of apprehensive of doing that. Maybe the next one that I build... I'll just record me building it so that you guys can do have a better insight of what's going on there if you're thinking about building one yourself. Uh, but basically what's happened here, I'm not sure if I explained this at the start, I can't actually remember, but you know, there's a chamber here, there's a wee shelf here, piezo sensor sitting in here, I've glued it on. Uh, air pressure comes in here, you know, hits against the sensor, the sensor creates a voltage. I've soldered a couple of wires onto the sensor, it's connected to the BNC uh, adapter inside that I've installed inside there, and obviously just a hose at this side. So that's going into my second channel, uh, and the first look sensor's in my first channel. So that's what you're seeing there. So A, sorry, blue, would be the first look, and then red would be the homemade. I'll just zoom across here while I'm here, just so you can see more of the waveform. You know, there's virtually no difference there. Look at the detail on that. So, pretty impressed with that, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I'll probably maybe make a few more of these, but certainly for a, a couple for myself. But if anybody's interested, I'll maybe buy a batch of them and you know send them out to you. I've not got any issues with that. So nice to be nice. So well, thanks very much. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the video. See if I can come up with some more videos. Uh, thanks again. I'll see you next time. Hi guys. So I thought I would just show you when I when I stopped the recording there. I was well just showing you. Okay. So. Obviously, we'll just get it there, the airline end. Uh, I'll just unscrew this. Just a simple thread on that. Okay, so we'll set that there. Just show you inside this bucket. So, airline end goes in, threads at the other side. I've just kind of put a bolt that was the correct thread, screwed that up, get that wee nick. There's some sealer in between it as well. So, we don't want to lose any pressure at this side. This is a, the chamber that's, you know, the pressure's getting introduced. So, I thought that was pretty important. So, the bucket's got a kind of rubber o-ring on it, like that, just sits up against it and when it's screwed down it's you know it's, it's nice and snug. So inside here you'll see the piezo sensor, there's kind of glue, you know those glue guns that some of the techs use for door panels and stuff so clips that fall off, so I just use some of that uh, heated glue, just kind of on the other side, uh, there's, the ledge is kind of deep on the other side so the sensor sits in from our side where the wiring is, but you can see the back end of it there where the glue is kind of just squashed through so it's kind of nice and sealed. Okay, just screw that back on, and you know what, I think I'll just pull this side off and show you. And it's not pretty, you know, I was had a couple of attempts at this, so my, my solder kept, you know, jumping off, but I managed to get some glue on that as well, just to hold it still. So, <coughs> sorry. Oh, bucket, you can just see, in the back there I've got, in the centre I've got my wire, and then the outside edge, there's a, wee, there's a wee ring, I'll show you that in a wee second, but... 
inside there, that's not pretty, but I mean it works, so it'll do me. So I'll just close that back over and I'll show you what's going on in there. Uh, same again, there's a, just a bucket with an o-ring on that, just to seal it. It doesn't, I don't think it's important that this side to be sealed is good because, you know, that's not the pressure side, but you know, I'll put that there. Okay, airline end, then BNC. So I ordered these EBNC connectors from eBay as well. Uh, it's you not, know, it's just a PNC connector. There's a, a handy wee o ring mint eyelet on it for the. I just wrapped my wiring around that, I've made it nice and tight. So that's set up inside like that. Then that over the top just to squash it, threaded it down. It's a 13mm, I just got a socket in my hand and just screwed that up to be snug. Like that inside. The wiring's kind of stuffed, to be honest, it's kind of stuffed inside the centre there. It wasn't really enough meat on that to drill it. Uh, Stuffed it inside, we bit a we bit a uh, solder on there, solder on that side as well, uh, and this is basically what the piezo sensor looks like. They're only a few pounds on eBay. This is a piezo sensor. There's obviously a, two sides to it, but these are really flimsy. In fact, this is this was the wrong size that I bought. I actually bought it for another tool that I had that I didn't build, but you know that's what it looks like if it's soldered on properly. And this is this is the size here that I'm in the process of trying to make, but the glue is kind of. I don't know if this one is going to be any use, but you do get a handful of them, so I mean you can you can take it into account they're going to break a couple of them. Well, at least at least I will anyway. So that's it, guys. So I mean, they're well worth having a go yourself. It's well worth the money. It's less than probably less than ten pounds to to build it com from complete. So I'll be trip to B and Q. A couple of buckets. So I'm going to, as I say, I'm going to go and buy a few more. Maybe make some for myself and others if if anybody wants one. So thanks very much. Thanks for tuning in.